Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran has advanced to the next level. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What's going on guys? And welcome back to another unboxing video. Last time we did this, we unboxed the Velociraptor Delta figure, which is somewhere over there. But in today's video, I've got another package for the Hammond Collection. This right here. I ordered a couple more figures on here, so we're gonna take a look and see which one is inside this. So let's get to unboxing. All right, let me get my scissors. Good to go. Can't wait to see what it is. I ordered, I think, four more figures on Amazon. Well, let's see what it is. It's a relatively small one, so don't expect much. Oh, I think I know what it is. As soon as we get this open, there we go. Here it is, the Hammond Collection Pachycephalosaurus figure. I believe this guy made its first appearance in the Lost World. Yeah, it's got the Lost World clip right there from the Lost World, if you see it. I know the light keeps flashing, but it's just automatic light. That's kind of out of my control. There's a description for this, like, look at this. With a name that may be difficult to pronounce, the Pachycephalosaurus faces InGen head-on with a skull that's nine inches of solid bone. Okay, all right. Well, without further ado, let's cut to the table where this guy is placed. So here it is, the packaging for the Pachycephalosaurus. Now if we look at this, we can kind of get a close look at it, but it looks really cool. Oh, I love how this guy kind of has human hands. He's got like four fingers and, a, and an opposable thumb. I think in the franchise, the Pachycephalosaurus is probably the first dinosaur in the franchise to have this. But anyway, yeah, the boxing looks really cool, you know, the packaging, and it's got the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary, so you know it's been released, like, last year or something. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this bad boy opened. And here it is, the Pachycephalosaurus figure. So, let's take a look and see what kind of articulation we've got. Can this mouth open? Eh, yeah, it can. It can open a little bit. It's a little difficult, you know, because it's a pretty small mouth, but it's it's definitely doable. I mean, you got the texture, you got the... Oh, you kind of got painted in eyes. That looks cool. Instead of those glass eyes, you've got the dome. The neck can kind of move. The head can kind of move. That looks cool. The arms, like, I thought I kind of broke this guy when I was opening the box, but... No, it just snapped back on, so that's good. We got the the human-like hand. We got four fingers and one thumb. Yeah, the arms are pretty flexible. What about the legs? The legs, yeah, yeah, I'd see them be pretty flexible and whatever. And then we got the tail, which, you know, obviously the tail is really cool looking. It's very flexible, you know. I'd say this guy looks really cool, in my opinion. Oh, oh hold on, the tail broke off. All right, there we go. I think I snapped the tail back on. Yeah, forgive the flashing light. I There's nothing I can do about that. The camera's got it an automatic one, so. Which is kind of good for like filming in the dark, but it can get very annoying when you're just doing an unboxing video, so forgive me for that. So yeah, the Pachycephalosaurus looks really cool. Let me get my Velociraptor Delta figure just so we can get like a, a good size comparison because that's literally the only figure that we can compare it to. Yeah, I'd say they're about the same size, I would say. Like, I'd say the the raptor might be a little bit longer, but the packy might be a bit taller depending on its posture. So I'm guessing once I get the Velociraptor blue figure, it'll probably be the same. Let me see how it is compared to, say, the Therizinosaurus. Yeah, just as I figured, the Therizinosaurus towers over both of them. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Just what I thought, and yeah, let me just take that away. The Raptor is a more fair size comparison, but yeah. So yeah, we've got the Velociraptor Delta and the Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, let's get them facing each other, so it looks like they might want to fight each other at some point. But yeah, that's pretty cool. 
Overall, I kind of forgot to give a rating for the Velociraptor Delta. I said I would give that figure an 8 out of 10. This figure easily gets a 9 out of 10, in my opinion. It looks really cool. It kind of looks accurate to its Lost World counterpart. I mean, the color could be a little bit darker, but um, Mattel was only working with what they have, I guess, so. And there's always talented people out there that remodel these or reskin these and whatever to make them look cool, custom made and whatever. But yeah, I saw a custom made Hammond Collection Carnotaurus figure that looks like the Chameleon Carno from the Lost World. Looked pretty cool. But yeah, overall I give this figure an easy 9 out of 10. And with that, I think that's gonna have to wrap it up for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.